Okay. <clears throat> so I was all worried about doing an efficient unloader and I had forgotten one critical thing. Uh, one of the mods I put in is mini loaders. So one of these suckers can unload really fast and then I'm going to load it into a box really fast and the box is going to hold say a row of this stuff which I think is a thousand um, let's run it two rows you know I think I can tell how much okay so these apparently stacked to 200 fine we're going to do is we're going to unload from here at full blue belt rates into the box and then we're going to take it from the box and we are going to do a we're going to pull it out onto one of these like that no, 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 no. We're going to do that. And we only need one side of the belt. So there is our complete unloader for 900 of anything per minute out of, the, out of that box. So basically, I need to put eight of those train stations around. The other way I could do this would be to arrange this as a one, one, one train, so it rolls in and rolls out, which actually sounds more like a useful way to do this particular build. So we're going to roll in, we're going to peel one of these out like this, and that's going to head into the, the area, and then we're going to roll back out again. But we do need to make sure that we've got enough space for engine, cargo, engine. Is that the way we want to do this? No, I think we're going to do a roll through, which just means we need to have a long enough limb down this side to roll through two of them. And this gives us a complete freedom on where we're going here. And it means we only need this much here. You know, and I forgot to include in all of this stuff that I just set up, I went back to the main base to look at what I could do. 
And as I built up all of this stuff, including the mini loaders, I forgot to include requests for rail stuff. Let's set those up now. I won't have rail until I get back to the main station, but at least we'll have it set up. I do have requests for locomotives and some cargo wagons. Is there any other rail I need to set up? Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So here's one station, and I need to have eight of these surrounding this guy. So if it's a box, then there's one side of the box. The other way I can do this would be to stack them up left to right. That might actually be better. Um, yeah, that is better. minimum so we're going to drag it out here and I could do four of these guys on each side so I couldn't do there but I could do there And now we just need a way to bring things in and bring things out. And these guys now these are half lanes and more than that they're half lanes staggered. So if I wanted I could bring this like that. Like that. Then I just need to put these two aiming for this guy. my unloader which gets me two doubled up guys but hold on there's more um, this would get me top <laughs> okay and I believe this all um, did I only bring the one railroad station with me Yeah, if I actually just did two of those in a row and we need some way for these guys exiting to get over to that lane output. I 
I remember that there was a clever way that all of these came together at some point. And I found it by starting with this and then slowly evolving it. So good. The better way of doing this is just to bite the bullet. And I believe that these can kind of merge together at some point. Do that. Can I... If I put two of them together... Now, I have done things like this in the past in bases. And I think there were weirdnesses signaling if you wanted high throughput. But at 900 per minute, a full cart is going to be 8,000. If I do it like that, that's exactly the rail. Now, how can I signal this? Well, obviously it isn't too critical that I signal it really well. Do I have enough signals that I can actually try this? answer to that is, oh no, not at all. But I'm liking this layout. Um, worst case, I just signal the whole thing as one block, and one person enters at a time, one person exits at a time, and this loops back down to here, and that just caps onto the end of this line. Uh, let's go with that. I just need to refill my requests. Uh, he needs to have a station to go to. Let's see if I can send into PAX Science. 
Oops. No. Let's see if I can send him to Farrell Parking. So the downside of putting all of the stations like that are that all those trains are going to come in from the same direction. So on the one hand it means that I only need one set of tracks coming in and if my trains are rare that's not going to be a thing. On the other hand it means I don't want them coming in from various directions which means that the science area is out on the end rather than dead set in the middle. If this were a pure belt base, he'd be dead in the middle and we would bloom out from there in various directions with each kind of science going in a separate direction. Okay, so go back to manual. And I can leave him there while I'm doing this. I'm going to actually run down to where all the stuff is before I turn on my logistics. There. Now while we're doing this, let's take a look at what's going on up here with solar. We actually have all this solar built. So that is... 20 by 4, so that's 80 megawatts up there right now. And our current base, main base, is using up uh, 300 megawatts. So we still need a whole bunch more power before we're, t we're taking up the load from the main base. So we're going to lay some more out while we're waiting. Let's just go that far. Oops. Now the other thing is, is, as we go, we're supposed to be pruning out the robot ports and radars. So let's keep this one in the middle, and I'm going to prune out all of these guys. And my bots are just going to have to build the robot ports and radars in the next rows before they can build anything else. This also means I'm going to have a whole bunch of bots going into my recycle area and being pulled back out, but that's okay. So let's set this to super fast and we can see the pattern as this grows. Also we're, we've got our logistics stuff so now I'm just watching the solar. That's going to work. We're just going to continue laying out solar as we go until we don't need anything but the solar for our power. Uh, and eventually we will use the solar to feed everything including the module factory and the main factory and all that through the rails. And here's one problem in that I forgot that this guy needs to get out of the frippin' way. I probably could have just picked him up.
Oh, also, he's going to take a long time to come back. <laughs> oh. I wonder where he decided to turn around. Let's take a look. Uh... So yeah, he's going all the way down there and back. Where's he going? Let's kill him off. So I don't have quite as much rail as I want. I'm going to go ahead and steal from Farrell. Spider-trons don't get a lot of, of exercise while I'm doing this bit. So given that we're going to go ahead and pull all of our science along the one spur coming in, I'm going to relocate the science out this way somewhere. Um, you kind of put it on the end. So let's keep this. This is now science unload. goes there and this oops this is going to be research park and what we're going to do is we're going to place it out to the far west so that it's sensible for everything to be coming from the east we're out on the end. And just put it out. Yeah, I'm just going to run it out this way and keep on going until we're ready. Oh, and we're going to need Farrell to come in. So, Farrell, uh, I need you to go to the PAX Science area and wait for passenger present.
and all of this goes away, and all of this goes away. That it's possible I'm going to run out of inventory doing this. <laughs> Hope not. So when we get there, I will just place down the eight unloading stations, one of which is going to get renamed to be a pack station. Farrell. Here he comes. Okay, so I need to turn off my logistics and my robos. be... there we go. Notice he picks up everything and then puts it back down. So we want to go basically over here. It's nice to know that Farrell can still do turns and everything, but I didn't really want to turn right there. stop crews on the map. So the difference distance between those is really quite large so let's head all the way over. I can always clean things out if I don't want it. And how about right there. Should be plenty of room.
So now we need to place down the science unload. Which I'm just going to put right there. So if I, if I judged this right, I think, oh, just barely. And there's power. Given how rare the trains are, this is not a problem. Um, one of these train stations will eventually become PAX. If I think about it, I might even be able to set up a turnaround here. Actually, I have a around here, rail end, just like that. We're going to make it a research park and we're going to have a nice little area in there. Cool. And the other part of this is the actual research park, which is going to get centered roughly. This changes how these lines come through. They're now like this.
<clears throat> of course, then there's the potential that I could have brought the rail in to the right of this guy. I wonder if that's even a possibility. That would have been here. Nope, not unless I bring... Well, if I bring it all the way back to there, that would work. Yeah, okay. Stepwise refinement. This looks like it's completely built. And power. So the power wasn't exactly symmetric, because of course the trains are both headed south. They're, they're headed south in both areas. It's not an actual symmetric layout. as we start building science so that each kind of science gets assigned a specific one. compact enough for a single underground to span. 
So if I've done things properly, this science lab should be able to use 1-1 trains to deliver science and consume it at exactly 900 in a area that is provisioned for 1,000 and throttled to 900. So this is our final trail throttling in the entire factory will be here. If I eliminated those, it should go up to 1,000. Plus or minus, it's going to be a ragged 1,000. But putting those in will rank this down to 900, and the rest of the factory will eventually come to homeostasis with whatever rates are necessary to get to exactly 900 science. And those will fluctuate up and down um, a little bit based on batching. So as we pick up a train load of something, it's going to crank it up to above the rate. But over the course of a 10 hour run, it should average, average out properly. And that's what I will do eventually in the end of all this is a very long run to show that we actually hit exact rates for everything for 900 science per minute. And then another long run with this unthrottled to show how it floats up and things stay a little bit ragged because we are allowing some things to run over, over speed and maintain that over speed into the science. And this is where I will cut it. We're going to save this off as 050. And that's the recording.